Sometimes I wonder if she hasn't come back again. <laughs> it's a real pleasure to have her along. She'll walk around and follow me around. And when we're done, why, we walk over the tee to the next hole. In Vancouver, Washington, Carl Click reporting for NBC News. A Regina hair salon owner says when she won a lottery jackpot six months ago, she had a feeling she would win again, and she was right. Nadine Teal won $3.5 million in Saturday's Lotto 649 draw to go along with the $77,500 she picked up last November. When she won the first time, she paid off some debts, bought new tires for her Datsun. Now she says she can go out and buy a whole new car. Probably will. Fix. Probably four or five Fix. new cars if she's so inclined. There's something going on there. There's something not right about that. Especially way out in Saskatchewan. Yeah, of all places. Well, anyway. Hey, Saskatchewan, what the heck. Hey, they, they have, have, people they have too. hotter weather in the summer and colder weather in the winter. We're better off in the long That's run. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> so, what, so what if we don't have a million, right? Yeah, if you believe that, you won't ever buy another lottery ticket. Yeah. To weather. To weather. Tomorrow, showers. Yeah, right. Thanks, High man. 10 or 50. The outlook for Friday, partly sunny. Current humidity, 56%. Winds east-northeast, 35 to 45 or 33 to 45. Barometer steady. Present temperature, 7. That's 44. Dan? Recapping tonight's news, negotiators for Stelco and the United Steelworkers of America are back to face-to-face -face talks at Toronto's Royal York Hotel. The meeting has added to optimism that a settlement may come during these early contract talks. The talks have dragged on for four weeks with the help of two provincial mediators. Most of today was spent in committee meetings, but both sides met at the same table late this evening. And our top story tonight, police are investigating a stabbing on the campus of Hamilton's McMaster University. The stabbing occurred just before 9 o'clock tonight and sent an unidentified young woman to hospital with multiple knife wounds. Police have no suspect in the incident and are continuing to question people at the McMaster campus. The woman's condition and identity have not been released. And that is TV 11 Newsroom, our late edition for this Wednesday evening. We are, as always, back tomorrow, 6 and 11. Hope you can join us. And I guess the uh, Leafs and Detroit get back at it again in Detroit tomorrow night. Tomorrow night, game two of that series, and the Leafs uh, be going for the second win in a row. Yep. And just recapping tonight's games, Quebec 2-1 over Montreal, so they lead 2-0. And it was the Islanders beating the Flyers. So that series is tied. Okay. Our time is gone. We are back tomorrow. We hope you are as well. For Matt and Ken and all of us at Newsroom, I'm Dan McClain. Have a pleasant night. We'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. on Main Street. And Matthew. I've been hired to do all of uh, Tom's stunts, <laughs> by the way. Uh, <laughs> and, and what might those stunts involve? <laughs> well, well, we'll talk about those later. <laughs> uh, uh, well, you know, you never know how it is, you know, beautiful women and all. <laughs> you just never know. No, so. but I was willing to stand in for Tom, you know, whenever he needed. That's right, you don't know how it is. You know, you. <laughs> well, you, you, you just settle down over there, Welch. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway. Uh, anyway, yes, as we were saying, we were going to get into the weather. Oh, there it is. Tomorrow, partly sunny with gusty northwest winds and cooler, the high 11 or 52. The outlook for Friday, partly sunny. Current humidity, 36%. Winds are northwest, 40 gusting to 55 kilometers per hour. The barometer is rising. The present temperature, 6 Celsius. That is 42 degrees Fahrenheit. Jennifer? Thank you very much. Hundreds of steel workers at Local 1005 jeered and shouted their disappointments over a tentative contract agreement their union has reached with Stelco. The workers attended an information meeting in Hamilton tonight to hear about the package they will vote on this Friday. Many members walked out of the meeting in anger, arguing the new early settlement does not meet their demands. And that's all the time we have for news. Any well, last words for uh, you? Just an update on the Leaf game. They were shut out tonight by Detroit, so they're coming back to Toronto for Game 6 Friday night. And uh, Will they be playing in that game? Uh, oh, not this one. Remember the other day we were talking about the Tigers? Well, they're not playing the Tigers. They're not playing the Tigers. Red Wings again. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Jeez. Thank you very much for being with us. On behalf Celtics of are my Ken, team. Sorry. Yeah, I know. Are you finished? I am. On behalf of Ken, Matt, and everyone here at Newsroom, good night. Good night. Good night.
56 Fahrenheit. Dan? Recapping tonight's stories, environment officials are probing a chemical fire in North York tonight. 30 drums of an unknown solvent exploded in the rear of an electrical firm at Steeles and Weston Road. Some spilled into the sewers. No one was hurt. June 18th, Canadians will learn just how serious the Mulroney government is about tax reform. Finance Minister Michael Wilson says that's when he'll make public his amendment package. He says more Canadians will keep more of their earnings. In our top story tonight, a meeting between Stalco and union officials at the provincial labor minister offices has shed no light on when or if early contract talks will resume. Meanwhile, Hamilton's Parkdale Works has voted 93% in favor of strike action, giving the union a mandate to call a strike. Steelworkers in Brantford have voted 83% in favor of authorizing a strike. And that is TV 11 Newsroom, our late edition for this evening. And as always, we will be back tomorrow, 6 and 11, to update Newsroom, weather and sports. And, of course, uh, I guess we should recap what's happening in the sport world tonight, find out what happened in the hockey game and so Yes, so it was, uh, we have, of course, an easy game for Montreal to win. Yeah. But just flash to me, the Ontario Hockey League final is over. Seventh game, Oshawa Generals have beaten North Bay. That means Oshawa is the king of all of it in a league that the Steelhawks try to play in. Hmm. Now, tomorrow night, we're getting back into the Edmonton Detroit and Detroit, and Detroit yeah. have a one-game lead, surprisingly, surprisingly. Yeah. But uh, who knows? I'm pulling for those guys to win, but I don't yeah. think they can. In your professional opinion, you think that uh, Edmonton will win. Edmonton's coming back? I okay. think so. Okay, we'll find out tomorrow. And well. no rain. Rain? No, no, no rain. Hard to play hockey in the rain. We have to say good night. We're out of time. We are back tomorrow, though. Do join us then, won't you? For Matt and Dick and all of us in the newsroom, I'm Dan McLean. Have a good night. Good, good night. night. Good night.